So here we are. You have chosen your song or piece to practice. Um, number one, uh, I always advise my students that, um, as we all know, practice makes perfect, right? But for studying piano music, it's actually slow practice that makes perfect. Yes, because um, if, if a piece, for example, is supposed to be played really fast and uh, the level is quite high, or even if it's just a simple piece but it needs to be played fast, chances are if you practice it fast right away, with so many mistakes even if how long you do you keep doing that it will not be for perfect so number two uh, adjust your level adjust to your level in terms of practice time so this means that if you're a beginner you need less time to practice because of the easiness of your notes but the higher your level becomes, the longer your practice time should be. And number three, when to speed up your playing. It is always very practical to practice hard and practice smart. As I mentioned earlier, if you practice a difficult piece, too fast with so many mistakes no matter how many hours you spend at the piano practicing uh, the your performance will never be perfect so when do you speed up your playing when your very slow practice is already perfect so if your very slow practice is already perfect then little by little you speed up your playing until you achieve your desired speed or what the piece uh, requires number four when not to speed up playing at the beginning of each piece you will see words such as andante Andantino, adagio, okay, these terms mean the piece is supposed to be played slowly. And if you're already familiar with the song or the piece that you're playing, then you will have an idea about the timing of this piece. So make sure to check the song in YouTube first, if you're not familiar with the song, to know uh, if the speed should be just slow or ballad number five when you are too busy to practice i know uh, how hard it is to squeeze in piano practice time especially if you have a lot of schoolwork homework etc or you have a lot of family activities on weekends and that's understandable because we all have our family and friends to give priorities to uh, but granting for example that you have a two-page piece to study and let's say each page has six staves so my advice is to chop it up in two parts so that uh, you can achieve a certain amount of output at the end of the week so let's say that that's a total of 12 staves to study for the week right so if you're too busy then study just one staff per day it won't take you too long to practice it and then at the end of the week you will be surprised how much you have practiced 
And number six, uh, finally, when you have done very well with your practice and your teacher and family and friends appreciate your performance, then don't forget to also reward yourself maybe buy some ice cream or shop with your family. So this is also my advice to parents. If you have seen that your child is doing so well with his or her practice, make sure to give some incentives. One of my students said, um, maybe my mom can give me a piece of donut. It doesn't have to be really expensive. Something that makes your heart happy. Yes, go ahead and indulge. So that's all for my advice for all my students. Uh, I know that um, you will go a long way if you continue your passion for studying piano music. Good luck and uh, see you in my class. Thanks for listening.